Albert Einstein once said, Technology is best when it brings people together. It has become appallingly obvious that our technology has exceeded our humanity. Albert Einstein, scientist. What's our role in the bigger picture? On how technology governs and impacts society nowadays. When do business and technology cross? What's up guys? Welcome to our vlog. For today's video, we're going to find out Business and Technology Cross! Uh, welcome, welcome to Corker Echo Farm Resort! Resort. Yay! We're tasked to make a vlog about when business and technology crossed. With this dilemma, our task is to interview the business owner or manager herein. Karkar Eco Farm Resort at Villa Enenang, Karkar City, Cebu. And here are our objectives. Presenting some responses of the interviewees. Good afternoon, ma'am. We're doing research for our school project and we're interviewing people who can contribute to our project. Do you have a minute to ask and to have a question? For this interview? Yes, yes. Sure, sure. Shoot the question. What will, what will happen to the humans if technology doesn't exist? Uh, that's a simple question but somewhat difficult to answer at some point because I am um, 50 to that you know, aspect. Number one, if technology doesn't exist, we might still be able to enjoy the simplicity of life. Um, before, uh, however, it's not gonna be as easy as peace as we are enjoying right now. So I think um, if you are to ask me if I have to choose whether I like technology or whether I don't like technology, um, I would definitely say I'd like to have technology. Okay. Okay, so is that good enough for you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. All right. You're welcome. Bye. Okay. Um, how technology helps your business improve? All right. So, um, well, we know for a fact that um, technology in business is a growing necessity. Now, as the time goes by, the business world is becoming more technological. Like, um, Innovation nurtures business in every aspect of business. And since technology creates the way for it, we can say that business needs technology to be sustained. So technology has literally changed every aspect of the way business operate at a fast pace. Like, like nowadays, um, we all businesses adapt to digital platform. Because if they don't, and then they will be left behind. Yeah, like, like for example, the way uh, they advertise, no, their companies, their promotions, diba? They use they use social media nowadays because it's faster, it's easier, and a very low cost, diba? So, um, for the changing, you know, technology for over eight years, all we need to do is understand how technology affects your organization. It could be for worse or it could be for better. But of course, for us to sustain our business, we always look up on how to improve our business using the existing technology. So um, the role of technology in business is very vital. Um, Technology is changing no? in every aspect of business, like for example, in accounting, yes. like nowadays they use like um, um, different ano na, software diba? in computing, no? data analysis, accounting, and then um, data collection, logistics, diba? sales and promotion, among others. So in Carco Echo Farm, Resorts, um, technology help us a lot when it comes to way of um, communication. No, why? Because um, it increases efficiency. No, in our in our business communication, like 
like um for example no before like how do we communicate to our through our co-workers or uh, members of our organization before like um snail mail or what's about to before um um like the i uh like, like if, if not snail mail like can uh, um, express delivery right? with the technology right? so faster and easier like the text messages the messenger. Yes, Messenger, oh, Facebook, the right? You could, and you could, you could have with your communication even, even um, updates, the right? You could have GCs, the right? Group chat, different group chats, no? So, like here in the Krakow Farm, we have different GCs, sa housekeeping department, front of front office department, kitchen department, cafe department. So there's no need for us now if we have urgent concerns it's magtapok me no so it would it would also increase efficiency now we could still communicate even if we're not physically present no so updates we could we could relay the, the, the concerns even if you're not physically present now no need na but like uh attention we need that at, at, at for a day human talk about this very you know, minor concern so with the technology that we are using right now, like that, can um, we sa atong, sa atong phone applications? We have Viber, WhatsApp, Messenger, right? even Instagram, Twitter. So by that aspect, like it, um, it makes our it makes our uh, mode of communication easier and of course faster. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Why eco-friendly important in your business? All right. Okay. Yes. So, um, eco-friendly, you know, being an eco-friendly resort is important to us in so many ways. You no, know, in so many ways. Um, first, it's um, we could um, educate. No? educate our our customers no to reduce no reuse and recycle no and also by that um, we educate no we educate our members of our organization or our staff how to maintain. yes how to maintain how to sustain an eco-friendly resort because somehow it would help protect our mother earth yes. thank you sir so what are the benefits of being an eco-friendly yes okay so um being in eco-friendly resort uh, showcase a lot of um, benefits. Okay, one of it would be less plastic waste, Because um, we know for a fact that uh, plastics are big contributor. No? to our uh, waste pollution no? and, yeah, yes exactly and can, uh, it could ruin diba? sa itong mother earth sa itong sa itong yes sa itong oceans seas diba okay diba namin sometimes diba like if like we could see or check on our social media ha? could it could like they have mga, mga sea creatures na namatay because of plastics diba? that we throw that we throw sa, sa asala diba? and also other benefits is um, being an eco-friendly it's also um, uh, 
less water waste because as you can see the yeah i see a uh, six chamber uh, yes. recy recy recycled water yes recycled water no so wala na usi yeah no so muna dito na amo amo nabi dito ang amo ko to final treatment uh, fi dito. final chamber uh, yeah final chamber so even if you get yourself um okay na say ako yeah okay so, uh, even if like it, uh, the waste it's came from the the comfort room yeah so iyan di treat siya no para pwede pa siya ma water sa plants mm -hmm. so we are not no and also um of course the ba that would provide being a friendly it will provide a better planet for a future generation yes car car eco farm resorts is not just any resort it's eco-friendly indeed car car eco farm resorts promotes the four rupees when it opts to recycle container vans and transform those into a three-story hotel cottage roof and list how else it's used it advocates to the sustainability of our future through the smart choice of using solar energy by installing solar panels it promotes healthy living they offer freshwater fishing and vegetable picking what else is more healthy than consuming freshly picked produce and fish the eco farm resort they use clean energy Solar energy represents a clean and green source of energy. Solar power is a great way to reduce our carbon footprint. Absolutely, there's nothing about solar power that pollutes Mother Nature. Solar power doesn't release any greenhouse gases. And except for needing a source of clean water to function, it uses absolutely no other resources. Hence, it's safe and environmentally friendly. Karkar Eco Farm Resorts has installed solar panels so it can contribute to a sustainable future of Earth. So, what are you waiting for? Now spend your vacation at Karkar Eco Farm Resorts. Here's the link. or visit their Facebook page. The humble beginning of Karkar Eco Farm Resort.
Karkar Eco Farm Resorts today. Forget to hit subscribe. So we have a, so for the first question sir is what will happen to the humans if technology doesn't exist today? Technology? Uh, we'll probably all die of global warming I think. <laughs> yep, that's my answer. Okay, thank you sir. Unless we got to the world and to fix our problems, global warming will kill us. Next question?